Hey, Paul at Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana, with Quentin King here, checking out another one of our custom Taylor guitars. So uh, we go down there, we pick out the woods and kind of just design something that's a little different. And uh, we looked at the other one here a minute ago. This one is a grand concert body, smaller body shape. Uh, it's a 14 fret, where this one was a 12 fret. This one has a cedar top and beautiful rosewood back and sides, satin finish again, just something we like to do. They just, they're just different and unique, you know? Yeah, I, you know, it, it looks unique and it, and it sounds unique. You know, I've always uh, associated cedar tops with a uh, slightly more mature sound, you know, mm -hmm. something that you would have to perhaps wait for if you were choosing one of the spruces. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I take a second just to say that, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about how awesome every guitar we feature here is, but the, the reality is, um, you know, these guitars that, that are presented have been selected because they represent some unique feature. They've already distinguished themselves from the rest of the, you know, off the assembly line pack. Uh, so the reason we were frequently singing praises for these instruments is because, you know, they've, they've already been pre-selected to be uh, instruments that represent, uh, you know, the sounds, the aesthetics that, that we think uh, hold value. And, you yeah. know, there's no shortage of folks that'll hate on a guitar or a maker of guitar and you know and th and that's fine because everybody uh guitars are like any other relationship it's yeah. it's based on a unique chemistry well i like to say too i mean we have hundreds of guitars in the store mm -hmm. i don't think i've ever handed you one that you just said oh i don't like this one at all yeah. and usually i don't even tell you about the guitar until i hand it to you yeah. so you know i'm always looking for an honest opinion of what the guitar is but the problem is you know you've got guitars you could have a 200 dollars guitar and you could say, wow, this is a great guitar. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to maybe sound as good as the $2,000 guitar, but it's, you know, it's not going to be a bad guitar. We don't, you know, if I have a bad guitar in the store or it doesn't play well, I'm going to send it back, you know, mm -hmm. before it even gets to this point here. Oh, yeah. You oh. know, but, it, you know, everyone has a different need yeah. and a different tone. It's amazing, especially when you watch the reviews uh, of what people like and don't like. And yeah. so... And I think that's fine. And I'd also add to that, there's there's different applications, too. I'm not going to exactly. buy a custom instrument for my uh, son or daughter who's just learned how to play. You know, there's an appropriate price point yeah. and, and set of features that, that are good for exactly. that level of player versus someone who's at the middle of their uh, arc, uh, those that are professional levels and so on and so forth. But going back to this yes. guitar, this is, uh, it's got, a, again, a unique sound. I it's uh, not quite as bassy as, yeah. as the other model, but it's just kind of nice and, it is and a smooth from the, from the middle. Uh, great, like all tailors, just you can feel solid construction and great playability up and down the neck. It seems like that one, especially with the cedar top, it's just it finger picks well. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of energy to make, no. it, to make it go. It's, it's just responsive. Yeah. custom tailors available at Music Villa. Quentin, it's always a pleasure. Yep. Thanks Thank for you. watching. We'll see you again soon.